My name is Denis Prokopenko. I'm a commander of the Azov Regiment. The defense of Mariupol has already been going for 12 days. We as a regiment protectors of Mariupol are successfully fortifying our combat task on the front line. The enemy has not entered the city. Being surrounded since March the 1st by the increasing amount of the enemy troops, our soldiers holding on the defense of an important strategic place, the forepost of the Sea of Azov. The strength of our fighters has been already admired by the whole world. Uh, dedication of the warriors has been highly evaluated by Ukrainians as well as people outside the country. But the enemy is uh, breaking the rules of the war by shelling the civilian people and destroying the infrastructure of uh, the city. The enemy is subjecting Mariupol people for another genocide. There is a critical lack of water and food, no electricity and gas during the cold season already for several days. Western countries always declare the democratic values among the which one of the most important is the life of human and being and the honor of man. But the innocent people in Mariupol city are almost starving. And this happening now, it is happening in modern Europe. The attempts to organize a safe corridor for evacuation of the civilian people was failed because of several actions of the enemy, the assembly area, which local authorities has identified it, the places of start the evacuation were shelled actively. If a no-fly zone over the Ukraine is provided soon, we will not be able to manage the supplies of water and food, medicine, as well as evacuated people safely. We follow our duty as the Ukrainian military. Our soldiers are struggling bravely. And now we address the whole world society and the humanitarian mission for fill, fill there because many of them were established exactly to solve such kind of humanitarian collapse we have in Mariupol now. Today is the time for determined actions. The delay can cost more and more human lives and the world, the Europe will heal for centuries. Create a no-fly zone over Ukraine, support with the modern weapon, organize the humanitarian aid for the civil people. We from our side will provide the kinds of support of the international aid to protect Mariupol its people. During the historical time, we need to stop the aggressor together, saving Mariupol, saving the Ukraine. Glory to Ukraine.